all right so definitely guys give it a try reuse those old vase from your gentleman callers that send you flowers apologizing or those just because vase and just because flowers reuse them and another video it's your girl mona and thank you guys for coming back thank you guys for checking back in y'all already know the deal the love is appreciated now today's video is a bit different we are about to get messy so i'm really not too sure why i'm wearing this white well actually i know why i'm wearing this yeah but um today we'll be doing a diy project flipping some vase uh, so I've been doing a bit of a uh, bit of work around the house. I'm currently um, decorating or trying to get my one of the rooms in my house, which is a guest bedroom. I'm trying to get that going. So I wanted to do some of the things myself without you know buying a lot of a lot of stuff. So I had these from um gifts that persons would have sent me you know persons send you flowers well i don't know about you guys but i tend to keep the vase or the vase so today we're going to be flipping them into something a whole lot more are we going to personalize them to match the house or the team of the room so yeah that's what we're doing today so these i got from kishko these were about dollars i don't know i don't want to give you guys the wrong price so i got these from kishko and these from kb homes now i didn't got i didn't get a lot of stuff because i'm not too sure as to the look i'm going for as yet basically we're just working on the vase today or the vase today all right so you're going to need a couple of things so we have paint so i got white paint as well as gray paint because i love neutral colors so i'll be working with these two colors today um and the main ingredient is going to be baking powder now the baking powder is going to give it that nice ceramic finish right so without further ado let's jump into this video i have no idea what i'm doing i saw someone post um someone that i'm following a fitness guru of mine that i'm following on instagram she was doing these and i thought this would be a great idea to do so i'll be doing that today all right so we have the paintbrush, we have the containers that we're gonna mix the paint and the baking soda in, and then we're gonna go from there. Yo, just give me one second, let me get some paper because I'm not trying to mess up this table. All right, so again, do not forget to like, share, and comment most importantly don't forget to subscribe i'm trying to be consistent with the uploads but yeah all right so let's see what we got here i really don't know how much the measurement or anything should be we're practically just gonna wing it today all right we're gonna go on feelings and try to figure it out together all right so let's do this so we're gonna start off with the white paint Hey, if you have glove, don't forget to put it on. Don't be like me. All right, so we have the white paint. The whole purpose of the baking soda, in case you guys are wondering, is going to make the paint a whole lot thicker and give it like a, what's the word I'm looking for? A cement kind of look or a cement kind of feel. So it's going to give it that ceramic um, look. All right, so we're just going to wing this and try to measure it out so we're going to pour some of the paint into the container now based on what i read that when you put the bacon um the bacon powder what it does is it makes the paint a lot thicker and it kinds of mul it multiplies it so we don't need a lot of paint all right so i'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon of bacon powder and we're going to mix it in Definitely gonna need some more paint. All 
right, so here we go again. Ooh. Now, the whole purpose or the whole idea of um, DIY projects is it should be cheap or inexpensive, all right? So it shouldn't be something that you had to go out and purchase the items. Even if you had to purchase the items, the items shouldn't have cost you like a lot, all right? So can you see what's going on there already? The difference in the paint, which is super uh, watery, and then when we add the baking powder to it, a completely different texture and consistency. So we're gonna just stay here for a minute and mix this in. <clears throat> but yeah, as I was saying, the whole purpose of a do-it-yourself project is to use stuff from around the house or if you bought items from a thrift shop or something like that. So it shouldn't cost you a lot, all right guys? So again, the vase were flowers that were sent to me in my old days when, you know, I had a lot of gentlemen callers. <laughs> yeah so i always i like to keep stuff because you can always use the items back for something else so these are about to come in handy right about now because i'm going to use them back all right so this is the texture the scent isn't too bad you can definitely smell like a bit of a chemical reaction going on because of the baking powder with the paint but it isn't anything to worry about guys so we're just gonna keep mixing i don't know how long i don't know if i should even add a little bit more i'll just add a little bit more paint for good grace all right that should be good all right yeah so the whole purpose of a do-it-yourself project is to have or to use inexpensive items around the place and try to create something beautiful. And even when persons come over to visit or whatever, they're gonna be like, oh, that is so beautiful. And you can say, hey, I did it myself. All right, so we're gonna mix that in. Pronounce it, some people say vase, some people say vase, all the same. Now, I was hoping to get like different sizes, but unfortunately, these are the only ones that I had. I'm gonna use this one because I really like this short. This is the shortest one. So I'm gonna use this one. Take off that. All right, so this is it practically. All right, put on some gloves. And I only have one pair. So I have my paintbrush, which didn't cost me much. I got the paint, sorry guys, I got the paint from KB Homes because this was the only place that I found the small little cans. Because again, you don't need a lot of paint. If you have leftover paint, you can also use that. See how this goes. So I think we're gonna use about two coats. We're gonna paint this with two coats. So this is gonna be the first coat. We're gonna paint it and then set it down and leave it to dry, all right? So just try to make sure that you cover the entire container or the entire vase with the mixture. Now, right away, what I notice is the texture. So it's kind of sandy and you get that little rough feel to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am already loving it. All right, so let's go ahead. Again, I just wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers, to everyone that is following me along my YouTube journey. It's been a bit rough, but nonetheless, thank you guys for sticking around. And I do hope to be more consistent with my videos so i'm trying to like bring a little of everything to the table oh getting messy already a little bit of fitness a little bit of you know lifestyle a little bit of everything and this is just stuff that i would do on a regular basis 
all right so i'm just sharing it with you guys so thank you guys for coming back every time i post a video all right i really needed two gloves but nonetheless nonetheless all right so this is what the first coat looks like i am really loving the texture or the rigid look i should say that we have going on here i'm really 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 loving it all right so i'm gonna paint all the way around the rim as well because this is about to be a whole mood make sure that i got everywhere covered we're gonna let this dry. I'm not too sure how long this even is gonna take to dry, but we're gonna let it dry and then work on the next one, all right? And then we're gonna come back and put a next coat. I really think that I needed to mix the mixture a little bit more so it could be a bit smoother, but I mean, we'll just call it a style. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our gray paint. Ooh. I won't tell you guys what this looks like. All right. Then see me post. I am a bit camera shy, but hey, it's just me and the camera. What's there to be shy about? All right. So I think this is a lot smoother. So we're gonna. Attempt to paint the next phase. <laughs> to the phase. Now this one is definitely a lot smoother. Oh my gosh. Well, hey, it's trial and error. It's my first time doing it. trying to get the paint on there and then I'm gonna evenly distribute it a whole lot neater and a lot smoother than I currently am all right again I think it would be best if you kind of run the brush in one direction so if you're painting upwards just go ahead and paint the entire thing pulling the paint brush with the paint upwards all right okay, i'm gonna come all the way around the rim so everything looks uniform the entire bottom of the vase as well just simply take the paint brush and kind of like get on the bottom there and then pull it upwards all right so that way you catch I'm going to leave that to dry. Let's say now is what time? Now is about 5. So now it's 5.13. I'm going to leave it to dry for about 2 hours or maybe an hour. I'm going to watch it and then I'm going to come back and we're going to take a look at it and see if it's dry enough to put the next coat over. I have this little one that I'm going to do something a little bit different with. I already cut out this little piece of paper into a somewhat of an oval shape. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do, all right? So this one here is gonna be a picture frame. So what I'm gonna do is the part where the picture is gonna be showcased from, I'm gonna cover it up. I want it in the form of an oval. So we're gonna cover that spot up with a piece of tape, all right? gonna just do a little bit of cleaning up just a quick tip um, if you got the paint on your skin all you need is a steel wool is what we call it um, so you're gonna use the steel wool 
with some water and then just scrub your skin all right and the paint's gonna come off instantly so not to worry three hours later so of course i've changed done a couple of things and we are back to check up on it so basically this is the vase they're dried now so we're gonna go ahead and apply the second coat all right So basically at this point, I wanted to cry. Long story short, I was using the wrong paint. The paint that I was using for the gray color was a craft tester paint. So when I tried to apply the second coat, everything started to come off. So be sure that you're using an indoor latex paint, all right? Save yourself some time. it is the next morning and the finished product has dried all right so they are fully dried let me give you an up close i hope that's zooming in on them properly this is how it look it's dried it looks like uh you know a really nice ceramic base that i would have bought in a store except we did it ourselves all right hold on so this is the white one all right so definitely guys give it a try reuse those old vase from your gentleman callers that send you flowers apologizing or those just because vase and just because flowers reuse them and give this a try and let me know how it goes okay so i'm just gonna put a, some flowers in here just to finish up the look give you guys an idea of how Kind of get a pretty cool picture frame so this is the finished product up close as you can see it is flawless flawless finished <laughs> all right so let me know if you would give if it's something you would give a try i really love this hold on let's get a bit of zoom here Definitely needs to be done a lot better, but you guys catch the drift. All right. Then we have another one here and another one. All right. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment. Leave us um, a comment. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell if you're interested in seeing more videos from me. Bye.